Commander Steve Frick now has taken over manual control flying Atlantis around the heading alignment circle. Twin sonic booms heralding Atlantis' arrival at the Florida spaceport. Field inside Atlantis. Punching through a deck of clouds at about 11,000 feet, Atlantis now aligned with runway 15. Touchdown. Point Dexter now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center wrapping up a 5.3 million mile mission to expand the global village of space. Dan Tawney home after 120 days in orbit. gear touchdowns and the wheel stop times momentarily. The entry team of flight controllers led by entry flight director Brian Lunny are going through its post landing checklist now. A smooth for the shuttle Atlantis and its seven crew members. You're watching Dick. Up on the International Space Station, Commander Peggy Whitson and flight engineers Yuri Malenchenko and Leopold Aarts watched the landing on a video feed that was uplinked to the station. Okay. Hey, you said the last PCSTR and GPS power down are complete. We copy Steve and you have a go for extended power up. 